everybody welcome back to the channel this is um this video is going to be all the qualifier four qualifiers that i did for the 2022 roar nitro nationals or whatever it was called it was a pretty fun weekend this is going to be all for the uh, qualifiers here this is qualifier number one uh my second time on the track I got faster, I think, as the uh, day went on, and or as the uh, weekend went on, and uh, thought I did pretty well. This one was, um, I think, I finished. This was my worst um, overall, which was eleven. I had like an eleven, eight, nine, and nine, which were pretty good, um, and. Uh, should have got me into the A, but it didn't. I uh, only made it into the, I was the BQ. Had a couple guys that I beat three out of the four races. Beat me because they had a, uh, they each had one really, a really good uh, run where I was more consistent overall. But yeah, this is a uh, qualifier number one. This is the one I had, uh, I think the most crashes in. I think I had like two crash, two marshals in this one. And uh, I think I had one more marshal throughout the next three races, but uh, yeah, enjoy.
Wildfire 2. This uh, this was a much better run for me. I didn't have to get marshaled, I don't think, in this race. Uh, I was, I felt, I, f I did good, but I felt slow. I don't know if that makes any sense. I mean, I, I did better, but like I wasn't really pushing it around the track as probably as hard as I could. And I started getting the outside line down really well where I can hold a, uh, a constant throttle. It was kind of hard. I, I, I don't know if it was my engine or the or fuel, but it was, um, it would be erratic. Like it, it wouldn't give me as much punch sometimes or, um, uh, you know, it, it'd be great at one point And then I'd go down this straight here and I wouldn't have enough to make it over that double, which I mean, when you get over that little hump coming past the start finish line, you're full wood. And sometimes I'd make it that over that double a ton. Sometimes I w wouldn't make it. Sometimes it'd be really close. Uh, it, it like wasn't consistent. And it was the same with the little jump. Sometimes it would give me a bit too much when I, I mean, I knew I had, I knew my throttle and my throttle points where I wanted to be when I came up to jumps and everything, but it would be off. And so, um, that's something I got to test if it was, um, my engine or um, the fuel or anything right there. I was looking for my wife. She had just shown up and you can see her in my video. She's in like a pink shirt, but it was kind of cool. She showed up right when I went out for my second run on Friday here. And uh, it did okay here. Um, tires were hooked up. I switched tire brands from Rossby to Jetco tires and they were hooked up pretty much all weekend. It, I mean, they were really good. I made a bad choice for my A main. I went to uh, block ins from the Stings. Stings were really good all weekend. I had a uh, really good grip. If it if there was a problem, it was it was driver related. But yeah, it the Stings and uh, their medium comp or soft compound, but it was like the med they have three different things for uh, soft. So it's the medium one. So. They were really good. I think me and Mike Welker, a uh, teammate, the Nitro Pro teammate, Mugen teammate, he's going to be a Jetco teammate. So I'm going to join Jetco. Uh, we all, we both pretty much run the same stuff. Mike's a lot faster driver than me. Uh, so and when we get to race each other, it's normally Mike having a bad day <laughs> when I can check catch Mike. But uh, yeah, this was a low six run. I think this was a, uh, I think it was eight overall for the, uh, for the round, so can't be mad at that. Put me in a good spot.
Saturday morning, Qualifier 3. Thought I would show uh, my pit guy, Justin Huglin. He's a uh, Nitro Pro manager, Nitro Pro teammate. Drives HB, so he's the HB Heat Wave guy. Hashtag HB Heat Wave. you got to check that out. But uh, he was my pit guy all weekend. Phenomenal. Kept me calm on the track. Kept talking to me like we were shooting the shit right here before qualifier three and uh like we don't even or not even paying attention we're just talking the entire time and uh he's like hey roll them out check him in and he didn't even put any gas in my car because uh we were just talking the whole time but yeah qualifier three this is i come close to a uh 11 lap run here uh 10 lap six flat the uh i get caught up with um the second and third place buggies uh, on the track and they kind of slow me down from uh, keeping a good flow. You know what that happened from time to time? I mean, people don't know cars uh, at big races. They don't know um, paint jobs or anything like that. I don't even have a paint job yet, but uh, they didn't know who I was or what car I had or anything like that. But uh, the announcer did the best he could to let people know when people were coming up on somebody. Uh, but when you get the top three cars trying to go as fast as they can, they just get all bundled up and things happen. And it kept me from getting that 11 lap run that I wanted uh, or that I needed. I needed to be up in that 11 lap run uh, just to, for qual points. And uh, it's just outside of it on this run. But again, I, I don't think I get marshaled in this race. I think uh, I had a good flow going the entire time on this race until I would get up to his other cars and then I would try and stay distant from him so we wouldn't wreck each other. So, yeah, it was uh, a really good run.
Iron number four. This would end up being my best run, my only 11 lapper that happens uh, in qualifying. It uh, was a pretty clean run. Not not too bad a run. I think I get marshaled one time. That might have been qualifying three. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, 11 lap run. It, get, it put me, I think, ninth in the overall for the round, which put me in the BQ, which was pretty terrible <laughs> in my opinion. I was so mad when I found out I was in the B. I thought I had done well enough to be in the A, but I didn't. I needed to push it a little more than I did, stop being more, uh, concerned about consistency and more about speed. But overall, I was happy with the run. I was happy with my qualifying. Just disappointed that uh, guys that I, I mean, three out of the four races, I mean, two of the guys in the A, I beat three out of four races. Uh, and that's kind of frustrating to me because it's, uh, I don't know, it just doesn't make any sense that you would be penalized for being consistent and instead of uh, fast for, you know, one round. But that's the way it goes. They only took two out of the four. If they took all four, I would have liked to have seen where I ended up because a lot of guys uh, were getting rocks in their flywheels and, and things like that. And, um not making it through an entire qualifier. So I would have liked to have seen where I ended up uh, through that whole thing. But uh, yeah, qualifier number four.
that's it. The last lap is done. That's four qualifiers. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please like and subscribe. It would help me out a ton. Y'all have a great day.